Hey guys, it's tutorial time. Today I'll show you how I've been drawing trees so far in Clip Studio Paint. By the way, I don't have much knowledge in environmental drawing and I'm still a beginner in the learning process, but I thought of sharing the little bits that I know in hopes that they would help you in some way. Before we start, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers a great variety of inspiring classes in the creative fields, including illustration, design, photography, and much more. And it also offers classes on useful life and work skills like freelancing, productivity, and lifestyle. In a nutshell, Skillshare has a rich library that can feed your curious minds. And the interesting thing about it, you can get access to all those classes at once when you join. For us artists, Skillshare has a good variety of drawing and coloring classes that would help improve our skills. There is an interesting class called Beginner's Introduction to Draw the Human Figure by Sensei that teaches you how to draw the human figure in anime and manga style. It's useful for artists who are just starting out and want to better understand drawing anatomy. And I mentioned this before, but in case you don't know, my anime drawing for beginners class is now available as well on Skillshare. In this class I show you how to draw characters, both males and females, how to draw hands and feet, how to use references, as well as how to draw clothes, shoes, hairstyles, and facial expressions. The great news is that you can try my class and all the others for free now, because the first 1000 people to click the link in the description box will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And if you want to continue afterwards, it's only $10 per month for a yearly subscription. Head to the link in the description box to join the community, explore, and enjoy learning. So let's start the tree tutorial. The first step is to draw a quick sketch of how your tree would look like. Draw the trunk and the distribution of the foliage. If you're having trouble drawing this, just look at a photo of a real tree and use it as a reference. After that, determine the light source. My light source will be here on the top left side. Now let's move on to the painting part. I'll use this palette of colors that I prepared earlier. I added the color codes in case you'd like to use the same ones. So create a new layer and call to trunk, and using the G pen or any hard brush, use a brown color and paint the trunk. Avoid making it symmetric and make it as random as you can so it looks natural. Don't forget to draw the roots of the trunk as well. After that, create a new layer below the trunk one and call it back or anything you prefer. Use a dark blue color and a foliage brush to paint the leaves. By the way, I downloaded these brushes from Clip Studio Assets and I've left you the link for all of them in the description box. Leave some empty spaces while you paint to make it look natural. Avoid painting the foliage in one curve like this. Paint until you've covered the tree trunks or have the space of the foliage. Next, create a layer above the trunk one and use a green color to add the foliage at the front. Again, keep them random and leave spaces in between but try to follow a sort of a circular shape because that's the shape we'll follow when shading them later. You can also toggle transparency and erase parts of the foliage to fix it using the same brush. Next, choose a lighter green color and paint the edges of those kinda circular parts. Keep the light source direction in mind when painting this. As you can see, I'm painting the lights on the top left side only because my light source is at the top left. We can add another degree of lighting by choosing a yellow color and painting in small portions of the lighting you previously added. Next, use a dark green color to add shades to those circular parts. Now, it's randomness time. Pick colors from different parts of the foliage and paint in between or transitioning areas to add some sort of gradient. I've picked colors from the back shaded part to add darker shadows as well. By the way, if you've noticed, the colors I've chosen range from warm to cool as they get darker. The highlight parts are warm and yellowish, and the shaded parts are cool and bluish. Using the right colors when shading is what really brings out that vibrancy and special look. You can go back to the backside shaded foliage and add a darker blue shade to add more depth. Now let's shade the trunk. Create a new clip layer above the trunk one and set the mode to multiply. Then using the same foliage brush and a violet color, paint the shades of the leaves. Make sure to keep it random as well and leave some empty spaces. You can also toggle transparency and erase parts of it while applying light pressure on the pen. After that, use a brush and apply shades to the roots of the tree. 
I use the same brush and water tool I usually use when shading characters. You can get them from my How I Switched From Side To Clip Studio Paint video. After that, choose an airbrush and make its edge slightly hard from here, and then lightly shade half of the tree to make it look round. Next, create another clip layer with multiply mode, and use a wood texture brush to paint the texture of the trunk using the same violet color. You can also toggle transparency here to erase some parts and fix the overall look of the texture. Next, create a new layer and set its mode to add glow. Choose an orange color and lightly airbrush the other half of the trunk. Reduce the opacity of the layer if you feel it's too bright. Then use the same wood texture brush to highlight the edges of the trunk that are exposed to sunlight. You can also create another clip layer with add glow mode and use the foliage brush with orange color to paint the light coming through the tree. Reduce the opacity and blur it a little bit from filter, blur, gaussian blur to make it less intense. Finally, create a new clip layer, pick a bluish color and lightly airbrush the edge of the shaded part. Use the wood texture brush as well to add texture to the trunk in a similar manner. And with that, our tree is complete, we're done. You can add the grass using the same colors of the tree foliage by painting it behind and in front of the tree trunk. And one last thing, of course this was just a quick painting of the tree. You can still add more details and shades and further fine tune it depending on the style you prefer. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you for watching, 